Hey YouTube, for today's repair we've got this small LCD TV, I believe it's a 15 inch, and it's a Magnavox slash Philips. Um, you can see on the front it says Magnavox, but it says Philips elsewhere. So I actually think the two companies merged, or at least they collaborated on this TV. And the symptom on this one, so when you come in here and turn it on, that's all that happens is the light just flashes green, yellow, green, yellow, and nothing ever comes up on screen. So we'll go ahead and take it apart and see what's going on on the inside. When well, here's the back of the TV, so as we come in here, so as you can see, it's model 15MF605T-17. And as I was commenting, like you saw on the front, it said Magnavox, and the remote says Magnavox. Yet, to come in here, and it says Philips, and the power supply here says Philips on it. So it's clearly at least a collaboration of the two. And again, I can't remember. I want to say the two companies merged. But either way, uh, for disassembly, so there are four screws in the corners and then even after the screws it's still clipped on and it's actually pretty easy to get um, as you can see this silver plastic extends beyond so it makes it easy to get in here with a screwdriver or a spudger and pop the tabs and once you do that you can get this piece off and I've already been in here um, there was a metal cage over the circuit board here which I've already taken off and this is what you've got so you've got the speakers on the side um, this board here is going to be the backlight, and then this here is everything else. So this is the main power supply. Actually, here's the main power supply. So this is just going to take the power supply and create voltages necessary, and then do all the video logic and processing. And I think I know the problem already. So if you come in here, those three capacitors right there, they're all 470 at 25 volts those three are bulging so I've got a bag of replacements here so before I even try anything else we're gonna go ahead and replace those three capacitors and see if that fixes the problem so there are the three replaced capacitors uh, relatively easy to do the hardest part is this is a double-sided board and they can be difficult to work with if you don't have good soldering equipment but got the three replaced. Um, I have not turned the TV on yet. Figured I would do the first power on on camera, see what happens. Well, the light is solid. No picture on the screen though. Um, let's try the menu button. Hmm, I have to look a little bit more, but we're at least getting further. So here's a good troubleshooting technique. When you have a TV or a monitor like this that turns on, but there's nothing on the screen. So go ahead and turn it on, and then you'll need a flashlight. And basically what you want to do is shine the flashlight into the screen and see if you can see the image. Now to make sure there's an image on screen, I'm going to go ahead and hit the menu button. And then hopefully, so right there you can see the word main controls. So you can see there is an image on screen. The problem here is the backlight is not coming through. So that helps me focus my attention so I know I need to look at the backlight circuitry. We're turning the monitor back over and checking the capacitors more closely. I found a total of seven more that were out of tolerance. Uh, now, I'm going to warn you, major kludge going on here. Uh, so first off, these two here were out, and I re replaced those. These two and this one here were also out. Now you'll notice some wires here. Um, this board's multi-plane with a big copper uh, ground plane on it. and. Despite my best efforts, I could not unplug the ground holes on these three capacitors. So what I've done is I've just tied them together with some wire and then ran a, ran a grounding wire over to the screw here. So major kludge, but the capacitors are in. Now, despite replacing those five capacitors, I 
suspect it's still not going to work. I haven't tried it yet, but these two capacitors over on this board are bad. And I can't replace those yet because they're an odd size. They're 150 microfarads, and I don't have that in stock. So I thought I'd start with these five, and we'll go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. So here's the first power up with just those five replaced. See what happens. Yeah, pretty much as I suspected. The backlights are not on, so I think those other capacitors, I'm going to have to replace those. I'm going to have to place an order just for those. So we'll have to order those in and uh, replace them and see what happens. Well, I've replaced those two capacitors, and I'm hoping it's going to work now. Um, I should say I didn't have those in. They were an unusual size, 150 microfarads, and that's a very unusual size, so I'd have to order them in, and I didn't want to wait for the order. Plus, given this is only a 15-inch TV, um, it's not worth the cost, plus shipping and all that. So what I've done here is I took two um, 220 microfarad capacitors and put them in place of the 150. So hopefully this will work. Um, I have not powered it on yet. This will be the first power on test, so we'll see what happens. Hmm. Still nothing on the screen. Well, I'm wondering, I'll have to dig a little bit further. It could be the CCFLs, in which case it's definitely not economical to repair this, but I'll have to dig further. I think I'm actually going to stop working on this monitor for now. I started working on it today because I thought it would be a quick, easy project and I wanted to get it off my bench. Um, I don't actually need this TV right now, so I'm basically just fixing it for the fun of it to see what's wrong with it. And it's clearly something more involved, and I just don't have the time right now to dig into it. So I figure I'll go ahead and upload what I've got thus far, let people enjoy it. And we did find definitely some bad capacitors, which we fixed. And uh, in the future, when and if I get around to tracking down the exact problem, I'll make another video and upload it. Thanks for watching.